Hi friends, welcome back to All or None Law. Today I'm going to talk about USMLE scoring question number 5. Um, before starting this, I would request you to subscribe to our channel that is All or None Law and please share our videos with your friends. Okay, so we just need your subscriptions we, and if you have anything, any, any, any comments or anything to be uploaded, please tell us we can do this for you. Our aim is you should score high, that's a 99 percentile in your USMLE examination. Okay guys, these are the USMLE scoring question number 5, very important concepts I'm going to tell you now. Okay, they will give the history of a HIV positive man with a swallowing difficulty or a painful swallowing. Okay, so look at the two points, two important points in this case history. A HIV patient with painful swelling, painful swallowing, very important points. Rather than a swallowing difficulty, painful swallowing will be better. They give the long history that he is taking. He is on, uh, um, um, he is on drugs. He is diabetic. He is hypertensive, but he is doing well. And uh, recent count is normal. CD4 count is normal. Everything blah 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 blah. Okay. So just need to look for two things, his symptom, what is his chief complaint and who is he, he is a HIV positive, right? Okay, what's the next best step, what would you do, tell me. This is what I explained before in my video, uh, we should start with the therapy that is a fluconazole. Okay, start with this, rather than investigating, you should start with the fluconazole therapy, very important. Okay, now the question is, he returns to your office after a few months without any improvement in his symptoms. Means, he's still complaining of difficulty or painful swallowing. What would you do next? The answer is, you will start with an endoscopy, biopsy, right? And the culture. The three things you will do. Okay? So these are the things. Look at this. A HIV patient with swallowing, painful swallowing. First start with the therapy. There is a fluconazole. If there is a no improvement on a fluconazole, start investigating with endoscopy, biopsies or cultures. Now the question is, the biopsy shows giant ulcers with no viruses. What's the next best step? What would you do? Pause the video and think yourself and tell me. I don't know whether I have options or not. Okay, I have options for you. A. Send for CMU cytology studies. B. It's an aphthous ulcer. C. Continue fluconazole for four more weeks. Switch over to the other higher antifungal drugs. E C T chest for malignancy. What's your answer? What's the next best step you would do? The answer is the right answer is it's an abs ulcer. It's a giant ulceration with no viruses. If there is any viruses is found, then it could be a CM V infection or other infections, other viral infections. Okay. So what you need to do here, you need to start with the steroids rather than continuing the fluconazole or starting with any other higher antifungal drugs. If HIV patients with a swallowing, uh, painful swallowing and there is no improvement on a fluconazole, the think of alternate diagnosis that is other than candidal infection. Okay. So you have to investigate. On the investigation, you will find the things like giant ulcer with no viruses is an aphthous ulcer. And treat with the steroids, that is a prednisolone. Okay, guys? Thank you so much for watching my video. Take care and please tell your friends. And uh, please like the video. And please share these videos with your friends. Thank you so much for watching my video. Take care.